Yes, okay guys, we're just back at the Hampton Town Hall. We've got a guard there making sure no one else comes in. And this is, oh yeah, Adele Ward. Adele Ward, she's uh, standing against, uh, uh, in, what was it again? Gold is green and Finchley and Gold is green. Okay, this is uh, uh, Miss Tash's old passion currently with uh, Mike Freer, our old friend. Remember, uh, Occupy, uh, manage, well, we sort of, uh, we were his guests for nine days at his office. So we had a, we had a couple of tents, but uh, hey. That's, uh, it, has, it had to be done. But anyway, Adele, so, what's, uh, so what happened to uh, the three uh, uh, Tory MPs they, uh, they, during this uh, uh, something about uh, a vote in Parliament? you tell me about? Uh, yes, Labour uh, put the bill through to uh, protect the NHS. Oh yeah, exempt the NHS from TTIP. And the three Tory MPs for Barnet, Theresa Villiers, offered and Mike Freer all abstained and Mike Freer said there was no need the NHS is absolutely safe, which anyone who knows about TTIP knows that's not true. In fact, unfortunately, there's no way of totally protecting the NHS yeah. in TTIP. Um, and there are too many loopholes. In yes, the, I mean... Like the fracking bill that went through as well. Yeah, the infrastructure uh, bill, that's the whole thing. The green bill too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what they told us. I mean, at the moment in time, they're in, in Barnet, everything seems to be... Uh, up for grabs. You've got uh, at least three estates that are being given yes. to property. We don't even know if they've been sold or they've been gifted. Yes. Asset transfer from the, from the public to the uh, to some property, property developer. Because even Fitz Charles says it's a land grab. He seems to know more than the MPs. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Yes, that's right. But it just shows the power of protest because the Granville estate, the people protested about it. Their green spaces in their estate were going to be taken by property developers. And last week, the council has, has uh, turned down that planning permission. So we've had a success on the Granville estate. Um, I'm worried about, about the Brent Cross redevelopment, which Mike Freer again um, voted for that. The last government turned down planning permission for the massive Brent Cross redevelopment, which is one of the reasons why people are losing their homes in council estates um, because a lot of luxury development is going on there. Um, so Granville Estate, luckily it went their way, but the Whitefields Estate, very near, just across the road from Red Cross Shopping Centre, people who've lived there for generations are losing their homes just because they want the Brent Cross Shopping Centre developed. And Mike Freer is one of the people who voted okay. for that. So it's actually uh, they wanted to, uh, well, of course, they want to have uh, uh, some American style shopping malls, and then yes. why should they have uh, some, uh, the, I don't know, peasants <laughs> across we, the way? They yes, probably wanted they some. Really want, they're calling it social cleansing. It's even been on the one show and in the Guardian as social cleansing because it's very clear that people who've lived for generations in these estates are being moved out. The, okay. the, even elderly people. People who bought their own home are getting compulsory purchase orders, and that was on the one show. Um, there, there's no heart in it at all. I know it's it's just a ridiculous situation at the moment. So, um, what chances? Uh, it's, uh, it's Mike Freer uh, has a strong backing in the in this uh, in Golders Green then, and uh, Finchley. I think it's divided. There are people who really want him to go as well. It's it's quite it's a marginal seat in the way it's been Labour in the past as mm -hmm. well. And a Rudy Viss, so it could, it could go. Yeah, could well, go and I'm, not, I'm really concerned about the fact that uh, the council with the Conniv well, uh, a company like Barrett's with the connivance of uh, uh, the Barnet Council can just turn around saying that you're a leaseholder, you're a, you're a person who owns this uh, property, and then now we're buying it off you and we're only giving you a quarter or a third of the. Uh, of the market value of it, and that's supposed to be legal. I'm thinking to myself, shouldn't the people who are voted for Mike Freer really be concerned that they're, if the property is uh, in the way of a property developer, you're going to be you're going to be gone, no matter how much it is. They're going to find a way to get rid of you. It is. I mean, Londoners are being moved out of London with the pittance they're being paid. Um, that even people who bought their own council property, they, they, they can't afford a place in London. So these whole communities are being dispersed all over, all okay. over the country. Okay. Um, uh, thank, you, thank you so much, Adele. It's like, um, I'm just thinking about, I'm, I'm just concerned, if you're a conservative voter, you're going to have to, uh, to be wondering, why the hell would you vote for Mike Fear, who may end up uh, conniving with a property developer like Anna Barrett's or Land Lease or anybody else and then say, okay, oh, your property looks really nice, we can make even more profit from it than you can, so we might actually just buy it off you for one third the price. Okay, peace out, guys. Anyway, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, how do, how do we find it? Are you on Twitter or... Uh... I'm on Twitter, at Adele Ward. Okay. And if you Google... 
on a Green Party. You'll find all of us on our campaigns, and, and I do believe protest is working, so you'll see us campaigning. For yeah, us. anyway, it's like at this moment in time, I've got the, all three of the, uh, the Green Party candidates in Barnet uh, in my side here. Okay, guys, peace out, and that's uh, Obi, Occupy New Thank you. Bye.